so many things to play with. Speaking of playing with stuff, for those that aren't aware, uh, Explainedio 2.0 is going to be coming out pretty soon, which is kind of cool. And they're in a pre-launch kind of phase right now. I'm kind of a fan of Explainedio. I wasn't necessarily so much at the beginning, but I figured out a few different ways to leverage the content in Explainedio and use it in Camtasia. The problem I have with Explainedio and Video Maker FX and Easy Sketch Pro and Video Scribe and all those other things, as you probably heard me say before, is that they are not video editors. Okay, this is what you have for a timeline. 3.9 seconds. Well, oh gosh, is that long enough? I don't know. Can you have multiple tracks to put content onto, you know, different backgrounds and stuff? Nope, can't do that. Can you align narration with any of these slides? In no reasonable easy fashion can any of those things be done. But, let's preview this scene here. Okay, that's a sketch drawing, and it's a pretty darn decent SVG file. It's a pretty darn decent sketch. You know, it looked like somebody was actually drawing the stupid thing. Can I use this animation content in a Camtasia project? Yeah, absolutely. So what I like these tools for are as video content creators or animation creators. And here's kind of another example. Let's say I take this slide and it kind of looks like a, almost a lower third kind of a thing, right? And it has a little animation to it. Uh, the circle comes in and then kind of swoops out. Now certainly I could change the text here, but could I not also just go in text areas and delete the text? And in other words, just have blankness here. Export this as a video, pull it into Camtasia, and then add whatever text I wanted to here in Camtasia. So in other words, I would have a reusable component that I could put in my library, this little circle popping in and this thing sliding out, almost like a lower third asset, but it's blank. Okay, or I could change colors here and you know do all kinds of stuff like that, which is another kind of nice thing about these. It's easy to do this stuff and kick it out. Yeah, I like that. I could do that. And then here's another good example. How about this as like a closing slide or for my YouTube end cards? Let's play that again. Okay, that's kind of cool, right? And I can build reusable components and things like that with these tools. Really fast, really easy. And some of the, let's see, what's this one all about? Right, so or another interesting thing is kind of you can, you know, let's preview this. So yeah, it's kind of a slide thing and and whatnot. Could I do that in PowerPoint? Yeah, certainly. But sometimes, you know, they're just kind of handy to have all pre-made, and you can get like collections of these. I can import. Uh, all different kinds of stuff. This is Explainedio 2.0, which is going to launch, gosh, I think on July 1st. So I'm inside beating it up. I've been chatting with Andrew Darius, and we've been kind of sending feedback and stuff back and forth. I'm working on some tutorials and stuff like that. So I'm going to kind of take the perspective of how can I use this tool to make better Camtasia videos. I'm not going to use it to try to make complete videos. Certainly, you know, I don't know. You can you can make some kind of quick and simple videos and stuff like that, uh, but for serious video work, yeah, it's a better tool than it is an editor. So that's basically my take on it. Don't touch that dial. <laughs>